So what is the molar mass of barium sulfide? Well, turns out we can use this table to help us organize our thoughts. Bam, so the first thing I'm gonna do is write down the particular element. All right, so I have barium in there, B-A, and I have sulfur, S. Next thing is to write down the number of atoms of each element in that compound. And if you look at barium sulfide there, there is an invisible one on the bottom of barium, as well as sulfur. So that what that tells us is that there's one atom of each, all right, in barium sulfide. Then we're going to take those number of atoms and multiply it by the mass of the element. Now this is simple. We go to the periodic table, right? This is where that handy dandy periodic table comes into play. There's your barium, 137.33. Here's your sulfur, 32.07. All right. So we got 137.33. And then we have 32. Let me make that a little neater, 32.07. All we have to now simply do is multiply this row across to find the total mass of that particular element of the compound. Right, so the total amount of barium there in the compound is 137.33, right, that's easy. And then same thing for sulfur, it's just 1 times the 32.07. Now since this represents the total mass of barium and this represents the total mass of then sulfur, all right, uh, where'd my line go? There it is. Um, we can add those two together now, right? We add that column up to find now the total mass of the entire compound. So this will be 169, I wrote the six first, just wanted to, I don't know, confuse you. Uh, this looks like a five-year-old wrote this. Let's try that again. 169.40. Since we're calculating uh, molar mass, right, the units here will be in grams per mole. Thanks for tuning in. I appreciate it. I look forward to helping you with more problems. We got thousands of videos out there for you, different subjects, even if you're taking physics or something, we got thousands of solved physics problems out there. We got hundreds now of solved uh, pre-calculus problems, but even if you're in like algebra two or something, that'll still help because um, some of the concepts, you know, uh, bleed over, so to speak. And uh, yeah, check it out. Be happy to help. Take care.